Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 22nd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out the else statement in PHP and also the else if statement, right? So in the last tutorial we made a very simple program in which we had the uh, two numeric variables and we had two if statements in the in the script and uh, in the first statement we checked whether the first variable was greater than the second variable in the next if statement we checked whether the first variable was less than the second variable and uh, you know we had echo statements in both if blocks to display uh, the appropriate messages now one scenario that we didn't cover in the last uh, script that we uh, dealt with was uh, you know what would happen if both the variables had the same value and in this um, in this in this script you know the one that i have uh, opened in my text editor uh, the name of the file is else.php what we're going to do is we're going to use the else if statement and the else statement as well as the if statement to cover all three scenarios right so on line number six in this file i have the opening php tag on line number 21 i have the closing php tag and then on line number seven i have uh, created a variable called x i've given it the value 15 on line number eight i have created another variable y and this one has the value 25 and then on line number nine i have uh, an if statement and this one checks whether the first variable is greater than the second variable and if that is the case you know that is if this if this condition would evaluate to true you would get inside the if block and we would execute this statement and this statement is going to display the message the value of dollar x which is uh, 15 is greater than the value of dollar y which you know uh, has to be less than 15 for this statement to execute now you know to cover the second scenario, that is if this variable uh, has a value that's lesser than the value that's there in this variable, we could use another if statement. But there is another way of doing that and that is by using else if. So this block would execute only if this test condition would evaluate to false. Right? So PHP is first going to check whether the value of x is greater than the value of y. If that is the case, then you know it will get inside the if block and ignore this portion. If that is not the case, then it's going to immediately jump to this statement, which is on line number 13. And you know, it's just the words else if, and there is no space between else and if, right? So you type in else if together, and then you have another test condition within parentheses. So in this test condition, we are checking the second scenario, which is the value of the first variable is less than the value of the second variable. And if that is the case, then of course, we're going to use echo to display the message you know, dollar x is less than dollar y. And if this condition also evaluates to false, then instead of having another uh, if block or another else if statement, we can have an else statement, right? So what this means is, PHP is first gonna check this condition. If this evaluates to false, it's going to come here, check this condition. And if this one also evaluates to false, then it's, you know, just going to uh, execute the code that's there in the else block. It's not going to check any other condition because if the number x is not greater than the number y and if the number x is also not less than the number y then it means that the numbers are equal, right? So that's why we don't have a test condition for the else block. We're simply displaying a message using echo that x is equal to y, right? It's pretty neat and uh, I'll open my browser now and uh, request for the file else.php and there we go, we see 15 is less than 25. Now let me mess with these values. So I'll change this to uh, 150 and save the file and refresh. Now we see 150 is greater than 25. And uh, let me change this to 150 as well. Save the file and refresh the browser to see 150 is equal to 150, right? So all three scenarios are covered, but this time we had to use just one if statement. And uh, this is actually a better way of accomplishing what we wanted to accomplish in the last tutorial, right? So we're maybe going to check out more applications of uh, these selection statements uh, in the future tutorials. But in case you have any doubt uh, regarding what we've covered in this particular uh, tutorial, then you can uh, comment on the video and uh, or you can send me messages too. And I'll try to reply to uh, as many as quickly as possible. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are having fun in the course and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.